The Australian Parliament sat for the first time today since the federal election and what was one of the first items of business? Swearing allegiance to the Queen of the United Kingdom. Not swearing allegiance to the Australian people, the people who put them there in the first place. Not swearing to uphold Australia's national interests or the Australian Constitution. Nope. The pledge was to be faithful and swear true allegiance to the Queen of the United Kingdom. I've got it here right in front of me and it reads, I do swear they will be faithful and bear allegiance to Her Majesty, Queen Victoria, her heirs and successors according to law, so help me God. Or if you're not religious, I do solemnly and sincerely affirm and declare that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Victoria, her heirs and successors according to law. Now you've probably noticed that it mentions Queen Victoria in there because the oath hasn't changed since she was queen. But nowadays they update it to mention Queen Elizabeth, of course. It's an oath that every member of parliament has to take before they can take up their seat in parliament. And when this pledge was introduced, Australia was still a British colony and it hasn't changed since. It's time that we updated our constitution so that everyone you elect swears allegiance to serve you and Australia's interests instead of a foreign queen. And that we have an Australian head of state who will put Australians first.